of our online lecture series of composite material. Today, we will be discuss on the processing of MMCs. So, I am Dr. Harjit Moa from SND College of Engineering and Research Center, Yavala. Today's topic, processing of metal matrix composites, liquid state processes, steel casting and Swiss casting. These are the processing methods of the composites. See, first of all to see processing of the metal matrix composites. Metal matrix composites materials can be produced by the many different techniques. Main focus on the selection of suitable process engineering is desired. Then some desired kind, quantity and distribution of reinforced components. Reinforced components are the fibers and particles, the matrix alloy and their applications. By altering the manufacturing method, the processing and the finishing as well as by the form of reinforcement components, it is possible to obtain different characteristics profiles. See the various methods of the processing. Processing having liquid state, inside processes, deposition techniques, solid state, steer casting, infiltration, then center fusion and diffusion bonding. Liquid state having steer casting and infiltration. And in the solid state it will be center fusion and diffusion bonding. Let's start with the liquid state processes. Liquid state fabrications of MMC involve the incorporation of dispersed phase into molten matrix metal. Liquid state processing of MMCs involve incorporation of preheated reinforcement into molten metal, followed by suitable mixing method and suitable casting processes. Key attributes of this process are simplicity, cost effectiveness and large scale production. These techniques are steel casting, liquid metal infiltration, twist casting, spray decomposition and powder metallurgy. These are the liquid types of processes. In the liquid state processes, metal with melting temperatures that are not too high, such as aluminium, can be incorporated easily as a matrix by liquid roof. Liquid state fabrication of MMCs involve incorporation of dispersed phase into molten matrix metal. Then, weighting improvement may be achieved by coating the dispersed phase fibers. Proper coating not only reduce interfacial energy but also prevent chemical interaction between the dispersed field and the matrix. See here, in the steer casting, then infiltration. In infiltration are further divided into three types, gas pressure infiltration, squeeze and pressure dye. <coughs> now, turn to steer casting. Steer casting process involves tearing of melt into which the melt is steered continuously which exposes the melt surface to the atmosphere which tend to continuous oxidization of aluminium melt as a result of continuous oxidation the weighting the weightability of the aluminium reduces and the reinforcement particles remain unmixed see the figure of the process it contains liquid metal, then rotor, then crucible, furnace, reinforcement, steerer screw, then electrical motor which is fitted to the this equipment, this process. See, this casting is a liquid state metal of the composite material fabrications in which the dispersed phase is mixed with molten matrix metal by metal means of mechanical steering. In these techniques, the crucial crucible is filled with the metal alloy which heats the alloy to the molten state. It can also aluminium, 
copper, titanium, cobalt, etc. Once it method stirrer is used for stirring an unfortunate apply un uniformly distributed in the heat among the metals. Now reinforcement is dispersed into molten metal. We can also use the combination of two three reinforcement mixer. Now inside the molten metal and even after dispersing there the stirrer is still keep continuing so the stirrer basis function is first to maintain uniform heat in the molten state and then when there is a dis disbursement to ceramic happening this dispersed particles should be uniformly distributed such that gets very high mechanical property so this process is called as a stirrer casting process and after this stirrer casting if you want to allow it to solidify if you want you take this mix one and pour it inside the mold or inside a die to get a required output of this process now see the advantages of stirrer casting stirrer casting are simplicity flexibility applicability of large quantity production with cost advantage advantage this advantage the major problem of this process is to obtain sufficient weighting of particle by liquid metal and to get a homogeneous dispersion of the particulate see next quiz casting quiz casting is a combination of casting and forging in which a molten metal is poured into a preheated die and upper die is closed to create the mold cavity after solidification begins the pressure applied by the upper die in quiz casting causes the metal to complete a fill the cavity resulting in a good surface finish and low shrinkage quiz casting also called as liquid forging is a hybrid metal forming process that combines permanent mold casting with die forging in a single step one a specific amount of mortal, molten metal alloy is poured into a preheated and lubricated die and subsequently forged and solidified under the pressure see the figure of quiz casting in the quiz casting there are upper movable mold then molten metal lower fix mold half and <coughs> injector pins it perform on the die then second part show the metal matrix composite how it uh, place from the upper side and then the uh, quiz casting process are done this techniques in all the melting the matrix alloy in a crucible in vacuum while the fibrous performance is heated separately the molten matrix materials at about 100 degree above the and is poured on onto the fibers and argon gas is introduced simultaneously argon gas pressure forces the melt to infiltrate the perform the melt generally contains additive to the aid in the wetting the fibers this process con conducted in the controlled environment of a pressure vessel and rather high fiber volume fraction complex shaped structures are obtained by this process there are various advantages of this processes means quiz casting process first it offer a broader range of shape and component than the other manufacturing method then second one is a little or no machining required post casting process low level of porosity good surface texture then fine micro structure with higher strain components no waste material means 100% utilization of the material are done with the help of this quiz casting process there are some disadvantages are also occurs first is cost are very high due to complex tooling means all the tooling are very complex then no flexibility as tooling is dedicated to specific component processes need to be accurately controlled which slow the cycle time down and increases processes cost in this way in this 
lecture we see the liquid processes sphere casting and quiz casting thank you friends